memory I have, which torments me always, is I would be a little kid and I'd be sitting in the car and I would have my seatbelt on and when it was cold you would like um, zipper my jacket all the way up to the top of my neck here, like my chin. And I'd be sitting in the car and you'd have the heat on and it would be hot and I'd be getting car sick and I'd be sitting there and it'd be irritating the bottom of my chin and I'd say, Dad, I'm hot, Dad, I'm hot, like I'm hot, I'm hot. And you'd be like, okay, I'm turning the air on and you would turn the heat up. And, and you'd say, it's, it's getting colder, it's getting colder. I'd be like, no, like, it's getting hotter. And I didn't know, I couldn't see the dial. I didn't know what that meant. And you would turn it up hotter. Okay, so when I was eight years old, me and my cousin Adrian were going to the movies with my dad. And my dad had to stop and use a payphone. And the payphone stole his quarter. He got so angry that he yanked the payphone out of the wall and cursed out the operator because she wouldn't give his 25 cents back. So every day my dad, um, he, every day I'm playing a game, he helps me with it, but then I, but then when he tests the game, but then when he does it with me, I say thank you. And then, I say thank you because he he's really nice and he um, is really nice to me every single time. When I was young, we used to play a lot of cards in our house. We always played cards. Everybody played cards. And my brother and I used to play cards together and he liked to play this one card game which escapes my memory. Knuckles. That's what it was called. Knuckles. And if you lost, you were supposed to get beat on a knuckle, okay? With the cards. With the cards, the whole deck. He beat you with the knuckles. Unfortunately, he used to turn, just before he went to hit me, he used to turn it sideways so it would hit this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite story. Dad used to take me fishing when I was yay high. And one night, or one morning, we would go very early with my Uncle Jack and stop at this place for breakfast and to buy bait. But lo and behold, Dad bought a frozen fish, a flounder, and I caught him sticking it on the hook and <laughs> flinging it into the ocean and then pretending that I caught it. That's good! <laughs> When I was in high school, I used to wake up before I had to go to school and go have coffee with my father at 5.30 in the morning. It's kind of our thing. Okay, well, um, you're good to me. I like baseball, you buy me stuff, and I like you. Bye. <laughs> All right, here's my story about my father. My father was Baptist, and he was so into God. Jesus is number one for my father. And occasionally, there would be times where I would go visit my father, where we would spend maybe two hours talking about baseball, about boxing, about politics, about TV, about music, about Sinatra. And then I'd be like, all right, Dad, I gotta go. Kind of put my jacket on, putting my keys, got my keys in my hand, I'm walking out the door, and he goes, oh, by the way, Paul, I forgot one thing. What's that, Dad? Have you taken the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart? And I'm like, really? Now? I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, Dad. I'm leaving. Yeah. And that was Dad. He would always just kind of wait until the very end to bring up Jesus. Sorry, but We're playing basketball. <clears throat> and the girl came over, lived down the street, and she wanted to play. So I... I said, no, you can't play, the boys are playing, you know, and I chased her away. Well, I got home, and the neighbor called my father, told my father that I, that I hit his, her daughter. So my, and she's up at the second story window talking down to my dad. So my father turns around and waffles me, and then on the way home, he says to me, he said, I know you didn't do it, he said, but I gotta keep peace in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> What about, tell me a story about your dad and going golfing with him. Uh, well, we see, we always had Shirley Temples. Andy, Andy the bartender, always gave us Shirley Temples. 
And uh, we used to drive in the golf cart and we'd race around the golf course and one of us would be hanging off the back of the golf, golf cart doing like little ballet stunts. <laughs> we say a pop up saloon, hanging out with pop up saloon in the basement, drinking pony beers, playing poker, uh, doing cooking crabs in the, the downstairs kitchen, and Papa would be cooking his sauce downstairs, and Grandma Samo would be cooking her sauce upstairs, and it would always be a competition of who made the best sauce. Yeah, good times. Uncle Andy was a, uh, he, he taught me uh, baseball. I played baseball until I was 18 years old, until I went to Vietnam. And his, uh, his teaching us, we were very, very young, and he stuck a, a catcher's mitt in our hand, and he stood back and he threw a baseball as hard as he could at us. And we developed the ability to stop that ball or get lumped up. <laughs> but he, uh, he taught, us, taught us quite a bit, quite a bit. Dad's really funny, and he, he, he loves me more than anything, and we always like to sing songs outside. I like doing it too. I remember my father used to take me to the Phillies games at Connie Mack Stadium. We'd pull into the parking lot, and these little boys used to run over to my dad, and he'd give them a quarter to watch the car. I never understood that till I got older. Uh, and then you put two and two together. Uh, I put two and two together when I finally turned about 21. <laughs> and you couldn't believe how smart your father got. That's right. You were uh, outside of, I think, Nick's house or Grandma's house. And uh, there was a button in your car. I was constantly pressing it. And me and Joe were wondering what this button did. So when you came inside the car, I asked you what this button did, and you said uh, every time you press that button, a puppy dies. A god kills a puppy <laughs> <laughs> as you're pushing the button. <laughs> so what's a kitty cat say? Meow. Meow. What's a what's a doggy say? A woof woof. Woof woof. What's a cow say? Yeah. You know, he goes, That's, where's daddy? Where's daddy? What's a cow say? He drank it. Daddy drinking, that's right. I'm <laughs> cooking. Huh? I'm cooking. Yes, I know. All right, say bye bye. Uh -uh. Come, daddy.